Okay, I think the US stock indice is coming to the end. Let's analyze it together, all right? So as you can see, I'm actually not in London. I'm uh, with my family in South Wales for a little uh, little break. So um, I don't have all the fancy equipment, but that's fine. All I need is just a laptop and my uh, experience, I guess. So let's have a look at the um, S&P 500 first daily chart this is more like a ending pattern what i mean is similar to this area right so trying to push and then rain to a few days then we should see a correction coming so if we see below breaking this area here then we may see this trend line bounce boom boom and then we shall see a correction how much of a correction we shall see but currently I'm not chasing to buy. Dropping down to an hourly, you will see I have a marked area around the 4,530 area. If it stay below, I could be a seller um, already. I mean, in here, maybe if you want to be aggressive, 4,600, but I'll probably wait for confirmation, break below here, and then sell to around the 4,460. For me, that's the plan on the uh, S&P 500. On, uh, let me change the pivot first, monthly. Uh, on NASDAQ, we are, we're seeing a range condition already. You know, we see some sell off, some buying, Friday a bit, push higher. Wouldn't surprise me, it just stole around this 16,000 area. Break the trend line, I'll be uh, trying to sell the, um, NASDAQ more than S&P back down to around maybe 14,000 area but patience is required for the next couple of days down Jones industrial again is at resistance you can see price is struggling a bit now you know uh, buying momentum is definitely easing off around this area so if you drop below we could see it testing this support area 34,500 area okay Russell again we said many times if 2000 area is a resistance so we try to reject again so where do we go from here break below this area we could see it testing the support around 1850 area so 1850 area Hong Kong is on my list to short but now it's um, trying to uh, break out the resistant area but wouldn't surprise me to store here and then break below again. Maybe when it break below and retest this channel I will look to be a seller but ultimately break below this bottom channel then yes I would be more inclined to sell the Hang Seng. So it's on the list but uh, be patient and see what is going to happen the next couple of days. Nick, I, yeah, a bit bullish. I think the, the Japan uh, currency policy makes that. So again, we'll see, can it break through this range and that, but I very much doubt the channel is, um, you know, more bearish to me. It's looking more bearish, so it's going more pointing this way. So I like to see this channel break and go lower. That would uh, benefit the Japanese yen gaining. So we shall see uh, on that. So that's, uh, that's my plan on the stock in this seat. If you like to see what we're doing on um, Forex, then make sure you subscribe and watch the next video. Thank you so much for watching.